Today's video is all about how and where to get more plants for your 3D library. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, we're going to explore how to get more plants for your plant library, being in Lumion or Twinmotion or any other uh, rendering software you're using. So it's really important to invest in creating your planting library. If you're a garden designer or landscape architect, you want to show diversity in your renderings, okay? You want to show uh, to your client, maybe not a specific, specific plant species, but really close, really similar okay you're not maybe uh, having the right cultivar but you're going to have a pretty similar from the same family maybe something similar to the plant you're going to suggest it's really important to uh, create um, uh, to to make sure the expectations of your clients are met but preparing him at the same time look this is what we're looking for in terms of rendering it might be a little bit different from the exact species we're going to provide or suggest in the planting plan. But you're going to have something pretty close, okay? So you have amazing planting library available to you. In the description of this video, I'm going to have my favorite websites you can take a look at. But one of them being Max3 and Globe Plants, two of them actually. So Globe Plants a bit more expensive, but at the same time you can buy uh, singular uh, plant species. In Max3, they have more collections, okay? You have volumes of plants. Um, but what I love in Max3 is that you have, first, you know, it's high poly uh, models and low poly models. Low poly models are uh, plant models that they are a, bit, a little bit less uh, realistic, not realistic, but a little bit more simple in the amount of polygons they use. Okay, the highest the polygons you use in a model, the the more um, heavy your project's gonna be. Okay, so. Don't forget, and plants, we use a lot of plants when you're doing a garden design model, a landscape uh, model. So make sure that you have a proper PC that, that, can, uh, that can work with this kind of heavy modeling um, environment. But uh, it's really important for you to, to try it out um, and maybe invest in a better PC as well. I think as a garden designer or a landscape architect, you want to show, um, we want to show the plants, you want to show your ideas, and it's really important to invest not only in the PC, but in the amount of plants you have in your library as well. So let's explore a little bit uh, um, Max3. Uh, you have high and low, and they have by environments normally, so they grouped uh, plants together that they normally go well in the same environment, okay? So you can see here, um, if it's more tropical, Mediterranean. So in the, if you click, I'm just going to click in one of them, for example, in this one, uh, Plant Models Volume 158. In here, you see the price. This is in uh, dollars. I'm not sure uh, why, but it will change in a bit. But in here, the difference of prices you see is depends how what the amount uh, of uh, files you want and uh, the more complex the file so grow fx and uh, for um, for max uh, 3d max or any other programs for uh, unreal engine so the more complex it gets the, the the higher the price of course you can check it out here for example uh, this model this specific plant model collection is is uh, is available in these three formats what we want, what I use in uh, being in Lumion or Twin Motion is FBX, okay? And that's the cheapest, uh, the cheapest you're gonna get in terms of value here. Um, you want for a team individual, and I do individual, okay? So you add to the chart and that's uh, to the card, sorry, and that's um, how you purchase the plant collection. I'm gonna show you an example uh, how they come um, and what you need to do. But in here, you know, you can see you can explore. Uh, the the plants um, collection. I rarely buy collections. I have to say, uh, I've purchased in the past, but uh, just because sometimes I have quite a few of that plants. So you want to make sure that you have um, that you're gonna use a lot of that plant for this price. Okay, you have here the list and the polygons, the height, the scale, and you have here the list of the. Um, the scientific names of the plants 
that they are in this collection but I wanted to show you I don't know you can see here some rendering examples of the plants and in here you have uh, the plants that they are in that file that you've purchased and it, what I like as well of Max3 is that you have different growth formats and sizes of each plant you know sometimes you have three so I, I've seen collections that you have more um, uh, sorry not three six you have six from each piece so really really complete and it shows you you know you have sometimes even if you have quite a few plants from the same species, you can have the different growth pattern uh, structure in your in your uh, garden design project. So really cool to see. Okay, as you can see here. Um, so and you see here you see here really good uh, preview of the models you've purchased. Okay, so you know for sure you have here the scale. You know for sure what you buying okay so every time you add to your cart you're gonna have a, a zip file i'm gonna show you my uh, previous orders so here i'm showing you one of the the last ones i did here in max 3 and is the volume 115 so i'm just gonna show you what comes in the 115 it's quite a, a lot of pounds that I'm able to use in my uh, garden design projects. You can see here the Echium, uh, pretty cool. I love them and uh, I use quite a lot. So it was really a good investment for me. So once you've purchased your, your, your plant collection volume, in this case, volume 115, this is what you get. You have the PDF with the, all the previous image. You have the FBX fi um, files, that's what more important to us is this two in the middle here and you have the maps that's the textures in case you need to add some programs like twin motion um they the um, they detect as soon as you put the fbx file you upload it to your project it normally uploads the textures and the maps if it's all in the same file a folder i mean okay so really important sometimes in lumion I, uh, I know some cases in Lumion that if it's in the same folder, they upload the maps uh, automatically. If not, you need to upload them one by one, like you're applying material to uh, a face. Okay, so we're going to test it out for you to see. Um, what I'm going to do is now download the FBX to my uh, PC and the maps. So you see exactly what comes in the in the um, in the folder and the technique I used to be a little bit more simple because you have quite a lot of plants and quite a lot of maps for each species that's available here in the in the folder. So this is what you get. I've extracted so they come both to zip uh, compressed folders, okay? And you need to extract both. And it, this is what you have in my right um, t uh, the models, the FBX of the twelve uh, plants, okay? So each FBX I'm going to open in Blender. Uh, if you don't know Blender, Blender it's a free software and it's great to use. Okay, I've, I'm going to add the, the description in the description of this video the link for you to download. W or the only thing I use Blender for is because that six sizes that they have for their models, they come all together in one file. So you need to delete the other ones, select the one size that you want to upload into Lumion, for example delete the other ones okay in twin motion you don't need this step because in twin motion you can actually select the other files the other fbx models and delete it inside already the software uh, but if you are working in lumion like i am uh, you need this extra step but it's very easy and blender is a free software like i said but the first things that i want to show you here as you can see all the maps here comes in this list of maps Okay, so quite a lot of stuff, uh, as you can see here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to organize. For example, if I know that I'm um, I'm uh, uh, downloading uh, the Viburnum or the Echium, for example, I'm going to uh, do a folder just for that plant species. It's just easier once you're inside Lumion or Twinmotion, if you actually have to apply the texture one by one, 
and apply all these uh, files to your plant model like I'm going to show you uh, next is easier if you have just one file for each plant okay so that's what I do um, let me see what I want to to download first as you can see here the viburnum if you're going to look at just the, the uh, files the map files just for the viburnum are all this one selected in blue okay so what I will do is I put the viburnum uh, folder and I add this with the fbx together in that folder and sometimes in Lumion that's enough for him to apply the uh, textures directly and you don't need nothing else, okay? Uh, I'm going to choose uh, another plant, the Peruvian, let me see, I don't, I don't think I have this one. I'm going to take advantage and just because this it can be a, a little bit time consuming so you want to make sure you, have, you do this when you have a little bit of time, not when you're stressed out for project okay so um but i think it's a really good idea uh, to do this uh, so all these textures are for the peruvian uh let me make sure uh, no i'm already okay they are mixed let me sort out by name okay so this is all the peruvian i want i'm gonna press ctrl c I'm going to add, normally you should do this in a, in a different, um, in a different uh, folder. I'm doing it in the same folder as the, the FBX uh, files, but I'm just going to add the plant here, okay? So as you can see here, now I have all the maps for this plant uh, species plus the, the model, okay? Uh, I'm just going to add the name here. In, f in the future, I just move this to my 3D model library. But before we actually go into Lumion, what we need is to actually separate the, the actual uh, growth specimen that we want from that three different growth structure of the plant that uh, Max3 provides. Okay, so we're going to go and open the file. We're going to go into import. And we're going to go and select the FBX file. So we're going to go again to the download. And here you have the download. You're going to check that one and import. So as you can see here, you have even more sizes than six. I thought you only had six, but this one has quite a lot. So it shows the plant in different growth phases. And you're going to select the one you want. Um, if you want a fully mature plant, something, you know, in the middle, more or less. So and just select and delete the other ones. I'm going to have that one in the middle here. Don't forget, you need to put it in the origin point because it's not, it's going to be really uh, cumbersome to, to, to move the plant along inside Lumion. So you just go here to location and just go to zero when it comes to the location in X and that's in the origin point. Really important now, you need to actually export it as an FBX file. Don't save it, okay? Because if you're gonna save, it's gonna save it in a blend file and that's not what we want. We're gonna go to export, export as FBX and change the name, okay? So just press, just do uh, Sicilian, Peruvian and I'm gonna just take this. Uh, just do whatever, one, um, zero, two, for example, just to differentiate from the previous one. Never delete the original one. You might want different uh, growth phases, for example, okay? And just make sure it is in the same file folder as the maps of the plant. And that's it. And now we go into Lumia. So this is a little bit of a tropical environment inside Lumion. And what we want here is we want to select import models in your editor and go to place and import new model and go to the folder where you have that model you just saved from Blender. And if everything goes perfectly, it comes already with the textures applied uh, because we have just that folder for that plant and it has the textures in there. I have a generic plants uh, category inside Lumion. I should really have this more organized, but I just have a, um, a generic uh, plants folder. So that's where I have all my 
uh, um, purchase plants, plants that uh, I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse, ketchup sometimes as well, have really good quality low polygon plants. So here we have our important plant with the textures apply, amazing, so we don't have to do anything else. And now you have this per beautiful Peruvian uh, the, to, to, um, to use in your future models. So I think it's really important every time you can, of course, to, uh, and if you have in the, in the, if you invested in the software like Twinmotion or Lumion, to little by little enrich your library. And pay attention because, for example, I thought the textures were applied, but as you can see here, this texture is not cut, the flower is not cut. So if this happens, very easy. You go to the material editor, you click, double click, and this here is your uh, textures, okay? The textures he applied automatically. What you need to do is actually go into a, um, go and apply, uh, load the map that cuts out the flower. And what we want is this map, okay? You're going to apply in the opacity. Uh, part okay as you can see as soon as you apply uh, the map the flower is cut okay so make sure everything looks good um, you know sometimes you can give little mistakes like that and you can see here the leaves have the same problem so just make sure uh, all the the maps are properly applied again go to the opacity and you have the leaf as you can see here, when I'm hovering to the uh, plant, to the leaf, you have leaf 01 and you have in here another one, leaf 01. So the, there are sometimes different uh, types of leaves and you might have leaf 01, leaf 02, something like this. Just to make sure that you have the actual plant. In this case, it's just one. So I'm going here and I'm going for the opacity map of the leaves. And this is what we want. Okay, now the leaves are cut beautifully. Okay, so you always need to make sure everything is applied. But a lot of the, the work was done previously, so that's really cool. Okay, so it's really important, like I said, to enrich your uh, library, your plant library. And if you do it a little by little, you know, as soon as you have a big project coming in or something like this, or even when you're budgeting a, a, a project, if you know that um, there are very uh, precise plants, uh, add that in add that as a percentage uh, to your to your co to your uh, budgeting uh, for your project uh, to when you give to the client. Of course, don't tell them is to purchase 3D model plants, but have that for you to know. Okay, this is the amount I'm going to invest in my 3D library. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you want extra um, explanations, if there's something you didn't understand, please let me know, and I'll explain in a future video. See you guys soon in the next one.